Students recently may have noticed these flyers posted around campus, but they are more than just an advertisement for one student who rallied to get money and support to bring one of her favorite musicians, Mike Mangione, to town. Okay, um, I first heard about Mike Mangione through one of my friends. Um, Mike is an independent um, singer-songwriter, and a lot of his themes come off the Pope John Paul II's writings on theology of the body, which is basically just morality and sexuality. Um, and one of my friends had heard about him. She went to a conference and met him there. And um, one time he was on tour through Cincinnati. He was opening for artists and authors. And um, we went and we fell in love with his music. We also talked to Stephanie about what his music means to her. Um, his music just is an expression of um, of the longing of each human heart, I feel like. Um, you know, we all have uh, stamped within us something that we can't quite describe, and I really feel like um, his music hits the nail on the head, um, what we're all kind of searching for and longing for, um, which is just love. I mean, just the heart's desire for love. Well, like I said, one of my friends had met him at um, a conference, and um, he had sent out a mass email saying that he wanted to do his first solo tour because he's never gone, he's always been an opener for somebody else. And um, my friend got him in contact with me. We told him that he had to come to Cincinnati. Um, I went, he had a show in Louisville, so I went down to Louisville and talked to him there. And um, he said he would be interested, and ever since we found a venue, we found all the details and got it rolling. Yes, yes, I would love for people to come and just, he's very, very talented and, um, and he's very good. He, I don't know, his music, it's, um, I mean, it hits anybody and everybody and um, regardless of what your certain, um, you know, your favorite genre of music is, his sound will definitely, I mean, it hits everybody. Everybody has to come. It's uh, on November 14th at 7 o'clock p.m. at Molly Malone's. Molly Malone's is a great place. Uh, it's a cover charge of $6, and it promises to be the most wicked awesome light night of your life. In national news, Congress is working on a bill that could potentially force banks to lower their rates on overdraft fees. Overdraft fees are charged to debit card holders by their bank when they spend more money than is in their account. Although, many people are automatically signed up for overdraft protection without notification as soon as they receive a debit card. We asked UC students, do you have issues with overdraft fees? And do you think a bill is needed to require banks to inform clients that they have overdraft protection? I think a bill informing clients of overdraft protection would be a good idea, uh, really important. I actually had to, uh, I overdrew by 40 cents and they got a $35 overdraft fee. So I think that the banks should have to, they should just all not let you use the card if you're going to overdraft. And just so to prevent, prevent you from overdraft, from overdrawing at all. Some banks have already responded by reducing the number of times daily a cardholder can be charged for overdraft. Be sure to keep checking back to the news record online each day for more videos, photos, and breaking news stories.